Hi again. So in my last video, I showed you how you can add hotspots in your scenes. As you can see, I am continuing from where I left off in the last video. I have two scenes and for each scene I have added an hotspot each. All right. So now in this video, I'll show you how you can use the hotspot to display text, images or videos. All right. So now in the first scene, uh, I have added a hotspot right here. Now if I go to the hotspot tab, this will show me the hotspot for this scene. Uh, now at first, I'll tell you that there are two types of hotspots. One is an info type, one is a scene type. The info type is the one that you use to display uh, text, images or videos either on click or when hovered on the hotspot. Uh, the scene type hotspot is basically used to connect two scenes. Uh, I'll show that in another video. In this video, I'll just focus on the info type hotspot. All right. So initially for this one, let's say I want to show uh, an on hover content. Basically, when I hover the mouse, I want some text to come up. So let's say I want to say welcome. All right. So I inputted that and if I click on preview, And on the preview, if I hover across the hotspot, it says welcome. See, neat, right? Uh, next, uh, I'll show you how to use the on click content. Now, I'll tell you beforehand, on click content, on hover content, both are compatible with uh, HTML. Uh, so you can use HTML tags to include information here. And that's the same way you include uh, images and videos. So let's say here I just want to include some information. Now, on click content is completely dependent on HTML. So, uh, in case you want to include text, you have to use a P tag. So, I'll just use the paragraph tag. Uh, this house it is on sale. All right. So, now if I click on preview and the on hover content is welcome now if I click on it there you go this house is on sale that's what I gave as a content to come up when I click on the hotspot all right now let's say in this place rather than showing a text I want to show an image it could be any image it could be a JPG uh, it could be a PNG uh, it could be a GIF image whichever you want I'll show you for a PNG image and a GIF image just to show you how it works so I have already written some uh, codes for including an image uh, that's what I suggest you to do as well when you uh, want to include images or texts in this area first use a code editor or a text where you write the code there then you can copy it and paste it here so I want to include an image uh, for which I need the image source tag and uh, I included the link to the image here and I uh, customized it a bit with the width, height and margin. You can do this however you want. And I also included a P tag at the bottom which means below the image I want to show a text that says wine bottle. So this will be basically an image of a wine bottle that I uploaded in my website. So I'll just copy this and paste it in place of on click content. Now if I preview it. In the hotspot, if I click on it, you can see the image came up and the text wine bottle. All right. Now, I'll tell you this. This thing works also on the on hover content. Let's say I want this to appear once you hover on the hotspot. So I'll just use that same code over here. I just copied it and pasted it here. And let's just preview. And there you go. I hovered on it and the wine bottle is there on the image and the text below. So basically you can use HTML tags to view text, images or videos on either on hover content or on click content. Now let me show you one using a GIF image. So let's say I don't want any on click content uh, over here so I'll just remove them. And I have written a code here for a GIF image of a fireplace. So for this one, let me just create another hotspot.
Now let's say I want the second hotspot on this point so I'll just add one hotspot and this is the fireplace at this house so I'll just click on it so that the hotspot appears right here and I'll input the hotspot coordinates into my hotspot so I'll give it an ID and now for this one let me just use the code snippet for adding the GIF image that I included all right so let me just put it on on hover content so that you can view this while you hover on it let me preview and the hotspot is there and if I hover on it there you go a fireplace GIF on hover well I think this is great uh, you can also do this in the on click content so that people clicks to see this it works both ways as I said earlier all right now in case you want to include a video in a hotspot what do you do so let me just create another hotspot for this so I'll just add another hotspot And let's say I want the hotspot to appear when I click on the TV all right so let me just pick up the hotspot coordinates give it an ID uh, now for this let's say I want to use a YouTube video so for YouTube videos you can easily uh, collect the iframe uh, code just by clicking on share and clicking on the embed button and they will give you the iframe code for the video so you can just copy it uh, and then go back to your uh, WPVR and uh, let's say I want it to appear when I click on it so I'll just paste the iframe on on click content so if I preview this as you saw I wanted the hotspot to appear here so if I click on this the video is here so that's how you use hotspots to display uh, text images and videos let me just show you one more thing that I already showed you in my previous video but I think I should show it, show it to you again so if I go back to the scenes uh, you see this was my first scene and the hotspots that I included were all on first scene now while I'm on first scene if I go to the hotspot tab it will only show me hotspots for the first scene if I go back to the scenes tab and select the second scene and then go to the hotspot tab this will only show me hotspots for my second scene uh, now how do I uh, get coordinates for the hotspot on the second scene again I'll show it to you again so let's say this is the second hotspot I want to add for my second scene uh, I'll just click on double click on the second scene over here it will take me to the second scene I can click on a sp any spot I want and I'll click on this one and now this will take the coordinates for my second scenes hotspot all right so when I preview this initially the default scene will come up but I can double click it here and this is the hotspot that I just placed on my second scene so in the same way you added image uh, text or videos in the hotspots of the first scene you can do the same in the second scene or every scene you have all right now you will notice that there is another field called URL now, sometimes you might want someone to click on a hotspot to take him to another website so let me just get back to scene one and hotspot. Let's say what I want uh, is that in my first scene, I want someone to click here to visit my website. So what will I do in this case? Uh, let me add another hotspot for this. And let's say I want the hotspot at this point. So I'll just collect the coordinates and give it a name and for this one in the url let me just use my website's link for my plugin all right so if i preview you can see that the hotspot has been placed and if i click on it it will take me to the website that i put in the URL tab I inputted my plugins website so it's taking me to my plugins website so that's that's it so that's how you 
add, use a hotspot to show text image and videos or you can add a link to it so so that someone can click on it and move to another tab all right uh, with the website now I will give you one more thing uh, basically you can add an on hover content even if you use an on click content or an URL so let's say you have a URL here I can add an on hover content here click to visit website so if I preview and turn around and hover the mouse it has a text if I click on it it will still take me to my website uh, now let's move on to an earlier hotspot where I just wrote welcome in this wall all right now here I can add a new URL or I can add an on click content basically I cannot have a URL and an on click content at the same time so I can use on hover content on any hotspot I want but if I use an on click content I cannot use an URL if I use an URL then I cannot use an on click content so keep that in mind so uh, if you input an on click content and an URL it will give an error message let me just show you So I have inputted an on click content. Now let me input the URL as well. Now if I preview, you will see you'll get a warning message. You cannot add an URL and an on click content at the same time. All right. So that's it. That's all about the InfoType hotspot, which you can use to display text images videos gif images or add a link to go to another website in my next video i'll show you how you can use the scene type hotspot uh, so that you can connect multiple scenes through the hotspot which means someone will click on the hotspot and it will take him to another scene all right so keep watching